Hey guys, so um, I'm scrolling through Pinterest and I found these pajamas that I really like. Let me show you. So these are it. They're like a black and white two-piece um, gingham set and so I clicked the link to um, see where I could purchase them and check this out you guys. These pajamas are so <laughs> pepper. <laughs> these pajamas are $200. That is crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I can make these. Okay, Pepper wants to say hi to you guys. Hold on. Say hi, Pepper. Do you want to say, oh, there's Morton. I going to say hello as well. Um, excuse me. What are you doing back there? Oh, you got Morton. You cannot do this. After the holidays, they think they can act all crazy. Excuse me. Do you belong up there? Do you belong up there? Okay, sorry. Right, so these pajamas are $200, and I'm thinking to myself that... Morton. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm one of those people that don't get attached to materialistic things, because these dogs just walk all over everything. All right, I'm putting the laptop up. Okay, sorry guys. Right, so $200 for pajamas, and I'm like, you know what, I can make these. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have the Closet Case Patterns Carolyn pajama, um, which looks like that um, garment. And I have some black gingham that I've had in my stash from Guthrie and Ghani. Um, and I guarantee it's going to be a lot softer than what these pajamas are, because I think these were just like 100% cotton. Let's see. Yeah, that's all they are. They're just cotton. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and trace out the pattern and get that cut out. Okay, so I changed my mind. I didn't know how many pieces were in this pattern. And come on camera. This is a lot. So if I'm being honest, I'm too lazy to trace all these out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the pattern out because that is a lot of pieces. <laughs> okay, so um, when I last left off, that was probably last week, and all I got around to was cutting out the pattern pieces. Um, so we actually have a snow day today, and we have Monday off, so that gave me a four-day weekend, and someone's in the cone and awfully sad. <laughs> Right, so um, so that gives me a four-day weekend, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use these next four days to get these pajamas um, sewn up. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the top today. So I'm going to go show you my fabric, and um, we'll go ahead and cut out some fabric. <laughs> okay, and this is uh, my fabric I'm going to be using. It's a brushed cotton, um, I want to say like a flannel that I picked up from Guthrie and Ghani. Super soft, you guys. Um, I hope this fabric isn't freaking your <laughs> eyes out because my eyes don't really know where to look. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get it cut out. Okay, guys. Um, so I managed to get the shirt done last night except for the buttons. Um, I want to say it was about 9 o'clock by the time I finished this shirt and I was getting pretty tired so I went ahead and just um, hung it up for the night and then um, did the buttons this morning when I woke up so this is what the top looks like and I'm actually like really happy with it you guys. This is probably one of the most um, involved makes that I've ever um, made so far. Hi bud. Morton would like to say hi. Say good morning Morton. <laughs> Alright, um, I didn't film any uh, video of me sewing this shirt just because I knew that it was going to take a long time. Um, and it did. It took me about eight hours <laughs> to make this. And that's, well, I took some um, stops um, during it, like breaks, and I'm not exactly the fastest sewer. So, but yeah, I got some um, piping on the cuffs and on the collar, some black buttons. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit bummed with this pattern matching. Because when I was sewing or marking the buttons, they did match um, perfectly, but I think maybe it somehow shifted. 
I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and um, make a muslin of the bottoms just to make sure that the, um, the they fit good and then go ahead and make the bottoms. All right, this is exciting. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I went through my stash and I got this flannel um, out that my Aunt Debbie sent me a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to make um, the muslin of the shorts. So hopefully they fit well and I don't have to make any adjustments. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, so um, I got the shorts done. I'm, I'm going to go to Joanne tonight and get thinner elastic. Just because it called for like an inch and a half, but I'm going to go buy an inch and a quarter just because I don't like how tight it fits in the casing and it kind of bunches too much. So I'm going to go do that tonight and then I'm going to cut out the actual fabric and sew the shorts tomorrow when I wake up. So um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get this done pretty early and then I can move on my next projects. Okay, I'm going to see if I can try to explain. Morton. Must do. What are you doing? Booping the nose? Boop! <laughs> can, I, can I please talk to my internet friends? Yes. Okay, come on down. Okay, so you guys see how here like it lays nice and flat. And then once I start pulling it through, it starts doing this where it's like curling under. Do you see that? So um, I think I'm going to do, I think if I get a skinnier elastic, it may prevent this from happening. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, Alright. <laughs> So much snow, you guys. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but do you see this? <laughs> Alright, so last night um, I went and got one and a quarter inch wide elastic and then cut my fabric. Um, and what I do is when I cut a project, um, I have these two gallon size Ziploc bags that I picked up from Walmart, or not Walmart, I'm sorry, Target. And I put um, all my fabric and like notions and things that I need to make it. Um, that way it keeps everything together and I can just grab it and start sewing. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, make these shorts today. So I'm changing two things. Um, I'm using one and a quarter inch wide elastic instead of an inch and a half um, because as you saw, I didn't really like how the inch and a half um, fit in the casing of the waistband. And then I'm gonna use a quarter inch um, seam allowance just because the cuffs were a little bit tighter around my thighs than I would like for pajamas. And so since I finished everything on the serger, I think it's going to be okay if I just use a um, quarter of an inch because my serger cuts all that excess um, fabric off. So fingers crossed that it goes well. <laughs> like finished um, I'm actually really proud of myself for making these definitely one of um, the most evolved involved <laughs> makes I've ever done um, right so I'm going to do a video reviewing this pattern oh hello Morton would you like to say hi <laughs> they know I'm talking to you guys so they came up here to say hello do you see him say hi babies <laughs> Alright, um, so kind of like a different um, video today, so if you guys like these um, like sewing type vlogs, let me know. 
uh, in the comments below. And if you like to see more videos like this, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.